this is a uh, gypsy yellow belly ghost. The pairing was a gypsy yellow belly het ghost to a hidden G Walma yellow belly granite fader het ghost. So I got pretty lucky on hitting this one. Um, it does have the fader gene, so it's going to be interesting to watch this thing grow. You can tell it has a fader gene mainly because of the dorsal blushings. The overall coloration is just astounding. Really, really cool. Got some more fader stuff to show, so let's keep moving on. Okay, now we've got a Hidden Gene Woma Granite Yellow Belly Fader Ghost. This this animal is amazing. Uh, it is for sale. It's a nice little boy. Uh, he's eating mice, and he's pretty self-explanatory. I think this animal is just amazing looking. Anyone that's watching and following uh, Kevin's videos from Nerd on the fader stuff that he's been producing over the years, it's pretty obvious. Once you once you start keeping and breeding these things, you really, really notice the difference between what has fader and what doesn't. I'll grab a couple of animals here that don't have fader from that project, and you'll see. Now we have two Hidden Gene Woma Granites. Can you tell which one has fader? To me, it's pretty darn obvious if you look at the heads, which one has the fader gene and which one does not. I'm gonna go with the one on the right. If you notice the, the head blushings at the back, and it also definitely has the granite. If you watch any of Kevin's videos, anytime he talks about Hidden Gene Woma granite fader, that little spot right there over the cheek, that's your telltale sign. Now, the other one is a very, very nice Hidden Gene Woma Granite Yellow Belly, but it does not have fader. This here's a uh, GHI Yellow Belly that also has a weird Harlequin gene that keeps on popping up, and it's from the, uh, the Gypsy Yellow Belly Original Sire, and the stuff that I've kept back, the Yellow Bellies that I held back, had this Harlequin gene in it, and it stripes them out. When this animal hatched, I wasn't sure if the sire was the GHI Mojave or if it was a dual sire clutch with the Bongo Cinnamon because I've seen what Bongo does with Yellow Belly and it's very striped. I Like I said, I haven't seen any that look exactly like this and I hatched two out that look just like this. But uh, they're really phenomenal animals. This guy's eaten really well on mice and he's always looking for food, as you can see right now. All right, little farewell to this girl here. A, uh, a lucky customer picked her up this past weekend, so she ate yesterday, and she leaves on Monday, but I figured I'd get her in a, in a quick video here. This is a GHI Cinnamon Mojave. An awesome example of it. All right, I figured we'd throw this guy in there too. Another three gene GHI combo. This is a GHI Mojave Yellow Belly. It's a male. He's eating full grown mice now. Uh, probably around 115 grams and he's, he's just kicking butt over here. He's got really, really cool purple hues because you know when you take the dark influence from the GHI and then, of course, the Mojave, we all know that that makes a, a weird striped snake. But then with Yellow Belly, it floated the pattern of the GHI Mojave. Everyone asks, you know, how do you know that it has Yellow Belly in it? Mainly that's why. Because of the float. All right, we've got the band of gypsies here. The super is kind of going and checking everybody out. But we've got a super gypsy Yellow Belly that is cruising around. That's pretty easy to see right there. The Hinge Woma Yellow Belly Gypsy is on the bottom left. The one that the Super Gypsy's checking out right now. 
And then up on the uh, on the top left there, he's also checking out the, not just the corners, but that one right there is what we're gonna call the Google Chrome, the GC. GC is Gypsy Combo. It's a hinging Loma, yellow belly, fader, gypsy, ghost. So that's, that's a lot of genes. I got very lucky on that. That boy's amazing. And then down here cruising around is a gypsy yellow belly fader ghost. We also did a single with that animal right there, but I figured I'd put them all together and you guys can see what the gypsy gene is doing in combos. This is something that's been asked quite a few times. I mean, seriously, it looks like an exanthic tiger retic combo thing of some crazy sort. And that's what the super gypsy yellow belly looks like, guys. Everyone that wants to see exactly what it is down the sides and it's completely striped and chain linked. I mean, that animal is crazy looking. And this is one of the uh, the babies that I received from a good buddy of mine. It's a black pastel lesser with something else. Um, you don't see these. The eyes are pitch black. The sides are all completely faded and floating. That whole floating thing, retake, like I said, retake guys know exactly what I'm talking about. The floating pattern where it's all just lifted up. And this isn't because of yellow belly. This is not a black pastel lesser yellow belly. We've seen those. They have blue eyes. Uh, it's just absolutely an anomaly. And um, soon enough, I'm thinking maybe next year, she'll breed. All right, this is a super pastel lesser yellow belly, super pyro. Uh, pyro is something new that a buddy of mine has been, uh, he had worked with for a long time and he ended up getting out. So it was, a, a, he had named it something else and it never went on World of Bull Pythons or anything like that. But uh, something that people have been working with in close knit groups here in Illinois and then of course up in New York Chris and uh, and Danny from Eyeballs have picked up this gene this thing changes every, every single time it sheds I never know what to expect it gets brighter in some spots it's fluorescent yellow this animal this particular one was born almost pure white and now the head and the neck and everything is kind of purple there's yellows popping up pattern floating and just weird Really, really weird. All right, and this right here is the original gold dust male. He's uh, produced quite a few offspring for me and seems to be a recessive gene. Some weirdo animals have come out of the, the clutches and looking forward to seeing what he can do in the future here. Really, really neat thing that's uh, occurred in nature somehow, some way. Here is a yearling calico hat for gold dust. Um, some people think that it's its own gene and it is visual in every aspect. It's not. It just reacted with calico in a very, very cool way. The, uh, the gold dust project did anyhow. And the pastels are brighter. The calicos are really weird. The yellow bellies are just weird looking yellow bellies. That's why I'm telling everyone it's it's a recessive gene. Uh, all the normals are very funky. What does seem to be happening consistently with everything in this project, though, is a really bright tail in all of them, like this calico has. And this one here is the other calico het gold dust that I've been raising up. There is a third, there's a male. Um, keeping him out of videos. He's mine. And so is this girl, and so is the other girl. But uh, it is pretty extravagant what happened with the ring -a ring and crazy tail stuff that happened. I do think it's recessive. It's just reacted really, really strangely with this, uh, with this morph itself. <laughs>